This is Knock Street Studios Tech Bridge, where we together increase our technical know-how and productivity. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the 10 greatest rappers of all time, and we're going to be using Python strings to do it. Let's get at it. So what you see in front of you is the terminal. And um, I want to do a quick review. So let's say that we want to um, remember that today we're talking about strings. In particular, we're talking about Python strings. Um, and strings can do many, many different things. Uh, um, they are basically what you and I would consider to be words, usually. But, um, but, they, but, but they also could be numbers as well. Um, it just means that um, the computer is not going to try to manipulate them in, in what we consider like arithmetic calculus or things of that nature. Um, that's, not, uh, that's not really great, but for the purposes of kind of basic understanding, that's enough to kind of get us started, okay? All right, so the other thing that I'll mention about the strings that we should be aware of is that we can put them in values. And, of our, and to do a quick um a value uh let's say value one equals tall okay so now in order to call value one uh in the terminal you can do print put it in parentheses value one and it will call that value that 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 variable up in this case the variable is on the left the actual string is on the right, and the other thing that I, uh, of the equal sign, and the other thing I will mention is, is that strings are put in either single quotes or quotes, okay? All right, so now, let's get to what we are here to do. Um, I decided to use uh, the 10 greatest rappers as the strings, so I'll give you an example. So if I type in 10, um, I've already preloaded it. It's going to get, give us the 10th greatest rapper of all time, Busta Rhymes. All right. So now let's, um, so now let's actually do something with the string. So um, I'm going to type in print. I'm going to put it in parentheses, and then I'm going to, uh, and then I'm going to, again call that variable, which is ten, and I'm going to put. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is uh, call slice, and all I want is with the slice. What you're doing is is you're only getting a piece of the string. All right, and so when I type this in, it's going to give me the piece on the front. Uh, one of the things that's different about Python is that Python starts counting from zero, not one. And so if I want that first position where the B is, I've got to put in zero. Okay. And so what you see is, is that what I just did is I did some manipulation of the string. I, I actually pull the first uh, six um, locations on that string. All right. So let's go on and do another one. And so again, I'm going to type in print. So I'm going to type in nine. I am going to now try to pull from the back. And in order to do that, I am still doing a splice, but this time I'm indexing from the back. Okay. Um, and what it did was number nine was guru and what it started to do is so it cut off the last um it said oh drop that last uh what do you call it 
um, character at the end, okay? All right, so the next one I wanna try is number eight, the rapper number eight. And this time what I wanna do is I wanna use a, a, a string method. And this one is called link. And so, and so in Python, it's just len. And so if you want the length of something, um, you put that variable inside the um, inside the parentheses, okay? And so this should give me the length of the wrapper's name in the value eight. It's thirteen. All right. So let's just print. So the other thing is in the terminal, you can just actually call the variable itself. When you start to move to the um, um, to a more more formal way of talking about variables, you're going to need to do print. But this case, we'll we'll try try just eight. All right, Pharaoh is number eight. Number seven. What we're going to do is is we're going to take the and we're going to use the method called lower. And so print seven. I have to type dot lower. Okay, and if you notice, the formatting makes a big difference, and each of these has just a little bit formatting, and so it's easy to mis mistype something. All right, so print <clears throat> seven dot lower. So what it's going to do is it's going to take all the characters and make them lower. All right, Rakim is our number seven. All right, so let's go <clears throat> number six and do upper. If you notice, it's print parentheses six dot upper. Um, the both both of the parentheses uh, open and close, and then you have to close it again with because you have everything in a print statement. Okay, Kendrick Lamar is number six. Who's number five? <clears throat> I don't remember. All right, so print five and then we're going to split on space um, and what I mean by that is I think this should work and so I have preloaded the value five with a wrapper and that wrapper's name has a space in it and what's going to happen is is that when the computer sees the sees the value and it sees a space it's going to split that string up so let's see if that works yes m e t h o d man <clears throat> and so if you notice what it did is it it put it in it actually put it into a list which we haven't covered yet but um that's what it did it literally split on so just let's go, let's just type in five. And what you see is it's one string and there is a space there. And if you go back to that print statement, that split statement, it's split on that space. Okay, that's five. Four, what are we doing? Ah, four. Um, print, four. So the value of four is, nope, we gotta do this differently. So X, and I shouldn't use X, but I'm gonna use X. X equals mo in four, okay? So now we're gonna print and so what, what we're doing with this one is, is we're checking to see if a series of strings, a series of characters is in the string four. And what it gave me back is a true, okay? And so let's just print four, kumodi. Uh -huh. um, and so again, what that one really does is, so let's say you have a, a a longer string and you want to check to see if uh, a sub a substring is actually present and what it did is it gave us a boolean i think i'm pronouncing that right boolean um true false response 
right? So what I could have done is, is if I had typed in um, Peter, then it would have given us a false. So let's try that. X equals eight and four, and then print X, and it gave you a false because those particular substrings aren't there. Okay, so three print three. This is alpha, alpha. And all right, so what this is going to do is it's going to check to make sure that this is actually uh, strings, not, not numbers, right? And that gives you a true. And so the conversely is three is number, I think what it is. String has no. Uh, I don't remember what that is. I can't. Okay, so let's say I don't remember what that is. Let's go to. <clears throat> okay, so let's say I can't remember is. I said is number. It's not is number. It's Python. So what I did was is I started to search it up. Python string is numeric. All right, and so what you're gonna find is it's going to walk you through the syntax, right? All right, so uh, let's get back here. All right, so let's see, is numeric is the right syntax. It's not is number. So print three is numeric. And that should be false, that's true. All right. Well, yes, it is false. That is correct. I shouldn't say it's true. Mm -hmm. All right. Number two. Number two is print two starts with all right. So that is print. Uh, parentheses two starts with and what it's looking for is similar to does it contain when I did it with the um, um, quotes in uh, in four with the fourth one and then Paris one now all right in order to print one get that first space All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I am, because I don't like, to, you know, I shouldn't say I don't like to type, but I make mistakes when I type. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the up key, up key, and that's gonna call up the last thing in the terminal that I did, and I'm gonna place the zero with the one. That's gonna give me the next variable. I'm gonna do that again, two. I'm gonna do it one more again, but you see who it is. And then number four, Jay-Z. Jay-Z, number one rapper of all time. And what we just did is we just walked through the indexes. And we're going to do that with uh, loops and things of like that uh, pretty soon. So that was a quick rundown of the 10 greatest rappers of all time. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. And what we just did with those is, is we use some of the Python string methods, slices and indexes in order to manipulate these words. I wanna thank you for checking me out. I'll see you next time.